Hi guys, welcome to my channel and uh, if you reached here yeah, this part, thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for watching and I hope uh, these sessions are helpful and they are adding value to you. Uh, to those people who want one-on-one -on -one classes and stuff, I do offer that. Please do uh, contact me. Contact me via WhatsApp, send a direct message, and we can then have uh, and see where we can be helped. But even if you don't contact me, these sessions are actually, actually sufficient enough help for you to understand the module. And besides understanding the module, enhance your understanding of auditing and try to just give you a better picture and see if you won't be able to make it. But I'm sure you're going to pass and it's going to be a good foundation, especially to those people who want to pursue auditing as a career and they want to see themselves probably doing this all the way up to fourth level this is a very very good foundation for the whole thing because going forward you're just going to be building on the things that we are covering here i don't have the study guide with me for upload you can find that on telegram because i do not want to attract any copyright items or any issues with copyright with unisa so welcome to Learning Unit 17, where we're talking about uh, reaching conclusions and reporting. So this is the AUE 1501 study guide, the 2021 one. So we're talking about uh, reaching, reaching and uh, a conclusion and uh, reporting on what you would have concluded on. So this is the last stage for the auditor, right? So you perform your audit procedures, you evaluate the audit evidence, then you understand, you ask yourself questions, right? Is there a material misstatement, right? So it can only be two, right? Is there a material misstatement? If your answer to that question is going to be no, then you're going to have to give a unmodified opinion, right? If there are no misstatements, meaning you did your procedures and you found nothing, basically. You found nothing. So in in in. Theoretically, it's, it's fine, but in the practicality of it, usually you have to try and look and find something. Because usually when you give an unmodified opinion, a lot of people feel as if they haven't done anything. But remember, for the purposes of 1501, if there is a mis material misstatement, right? If there is a material misstatement that you have identified within the financials, remember you are, your duty is not to correct. Please don't get it confused. You are not there to correct their financial statements as an external auditor. You are there to ask, to, to look for problems. And if there are no problems, give them an unmodified opinion. But if there's going to be material misstatements, meaning important things that have either been omitted or that have been stated incorrectly, if they are going to be there, right? The first thing that you're going to do is you request management to adjust. Okay, guys, in, uh, I, I see here the way you calculated probably your bad debts is incorrect, right? You, you probably you used the wrong percentage or you might have omitted one or two things. You tell management to correct, right? Then they correct you and you, you give them an unmodified. Then there are items that you are going to say, okay, based on my knowledge, as an accountant and based on my knowledge of accounting and theory and everything that I know in my experience, certain things, uh, for instance, there's a balance, probably it's an, it's an evaluation or probably it's an estimate, right? Remember, depreciation is also an estimate or probably the way that they calculated their depreciation, you don't agree with it, right? You can then ask management to adjust, then management can come back to you and say, no, we can't adjust. Probably they are doing that so that they can keep their profit low so that they don't pay a lot of tax. So management can come back to you and say, no, we do not want to adjust our depreciation or we do not want to adjust one or two things as per you. So meaning you and management do not agree on something. So now that you don't agree, right, and management refuses to, uh, to correct, you then have to modify your audit opinion you then have to modify your audit opinion right and as you modify your opinion you now have to say except for 
one, two, three, which you disagreed by the management, the financial statements fairly present. So meaning whoever then reads your audit report, they will also understand that, okay, in terms of, let's say, bad debts, in terms of this asset, in terms of this component, you and management had disagreements, right? So you give them, you modify the opinion and you put, uh, except for, except for blah, 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 you, everything is okay. Adverse, adverse, you're simply saying the financial statements do not uh, present adverse. It's almost like an aggressive way, right? Except for just saying, okay, fine, we might not be agreeing, but we just don't agree on one, two, but the rest is fine, right? The rest is fine, but we don't agree on one, two items. Adverse, you are saying that the majority, 90% or 100% of the things that you audited or the things that you checked, they were incorrect, right? So you will now be writing there that uh, you, the financial statements do not fairly present what is actually happening on the ground. That is an adverse opinion. Disclaimer, you are actually saying you do not express an opinion whatsoever. So this usually happens when... Let's say there's a fire and the accounting records are all destroyed. There are software malfunctions, but they will still have to perform an, an audit. How are you going to do it? So you just have to state there that you do not express an opinion or you do not know or you do not express an opinion about the financials that are being presented because you have to understand in the diagram, the company is going to pre prepare financial statements first. Then you are going to audit or you're going to perform the audit after your report is only going to come after the financial statement so you are saying that you don't have an opinion about the financial statements that have been provided there right so it's usually a standard saying right it's usually a, a standard saying it's usually a standard saying right like what they say they on triple one uh, the opinion mainly states, in our opinion, the annual financial statements fairly present in all material aspects. That's unmodified, right? Then you then go there and you say, okay, except for, you talk about the errors that you would have identified that management refused to adjust, uh, the financial statement fairly present, or it can be an adverse, or it can be a disclaimer. Right, there were no backups and everything was disclosed, destroyed, and everything. And they just did an audit. They come to you, you have to tell them that you don't express an opinion on what is going on there. So, that is it about concluding. So, remember to like, to subscribe. Thank you so much for taking your time, and I'll see you on the next video.